not acceptable. That's what parents and caregivers are saying about the new park district location for a program for people with disabilities. The special rec program was abruptly moved a few miles north to McKinley Park this week. The reason? So migrants can live inside Gage Park. As CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff reports new at six, some caregivers are now taking legal action. You want to go to Smoothie King afterwards? Yeah. 26 year old Brache Hardy would normally be in a Chicago Park District special rec program during the day. Brache, who has autism, has been a participant for years. After she graduated from the special education program at age 22, there were many resources and programming, so this is the only programming available to her. But her mom says getting there now is a hardship since it moved from Gage Park to McKinley Park with little notice. Adding to that, Stepney Davis says the new room at McKinley is much smaller than the room at Gage. There are 30 participants and four of them are in wheelchairs, so it's half the size. And even the entryway, the doorway, it's, you know, it's very narrow. The move was announced in this letter June 16th, giving caregivers less than 10 days notice of the change needed, says 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez, so Gage Park could become a processing center for migrants. Caregivers voiced their concerns at a public meeting a week ago. So why are you dropping the ball now? Concerns turned to anger this week. Discarded. That's I, that was the word that I thought of. We were discarded. When caregivers saw the cramped room at McKinley Park. I believe they were sacrificed. Oh, well, we just throw them out to the woods. We don't really care where they land. I'm in contact with some lawyers right now to actually to review the case. And equipped for equality attorney Barry Taylor understands their concerns. Do they have any, first of all, legal ground to stand on? Yeah, the Americans with Disabilities Act does cover state and local government services and activities, and that would include park districts. What the ADA says is you have to provide what's called an effective accommodation. Sandra Ward also sent this email to one of Mayor Brandon Johnson's staffers asking for a meeting. So far, nothing. I think Brandon Johnson needs to talk to us. At the meeting last week, a park district official said they did the best they could to find a reasonable new location for the program. I reached back out to the park district to ask them about the new concerns and so far still waiting for a response. Engage Park, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.